Yo, what is up guys? I'm sure you guys can tell from the title of this video, it is not a nightlife video. I'm not at Bangla Road. Um, I'm checking out one of Phuket's most popular beaches according to Google Maps. It's rated a 4.5 star. Got about 1,500 reviews, so it's pretty good. I don't think you can party every day. One of my favorite things is just hopping on the scooter and going for a ride. Driving here, driving north of Batong is awesome. The drive is amazing. Parks in front, parks in front of the lazy coconut. And I've never been to this beach before. Bang Tao Beach, Bang Tao Beach. <laughs> From my understanding, this is more of a chill beach, not super developed yet. I've also looked up, it is a five kilometer long beach. It's massive. So yeah, today's gonna be your classic what it's like video. We're gonna check out the beach today, go for a walk, eat some food, do all those good things you normally do when you go to the beach so but I think the best way to check out this beach before I even set foot on it is to get the bird in the sky so let's fly the drone and let's check out what it looks like We have not eaten today, so we're gonna get some food. Swati cap. Ooh, thank you. Look at that. Sweet and sour, stir fried veggies, rice, water. Swati cap. My meal was 180 baht, and yeah. First step onto the beach, not gonna lie. A lot of garbage. But we're kind of getting into that monsoon season. Actually, we are in monsoon season. Waves are a little bit crazier, it's a little windier, and there's a lot of garbage kind of washed up right now. Cool little beach club. So, one beach club, another beach club. Got the red flag going, don't we? Another beach club, two bougie beach clubs. One looked a little more relaxed and we're kind of coming to the end of the walk going south. But overall, once you go past that little bit of garbage, the sand is really, really nice, really nice. And it seems really shallow for quite a ways. So even though there's a red flag, there's a lot of people swimming. I don't think there's any lifeguards here. I was actually at Karam Beach yesterday and I went for a swim and the, the water was pretty crazy. The waves were pretty nuts. Cause there was a bunch of people swimming and then the lifeguard came over and was whistling, getting mad at everybody. So I guess we weren't allowed to swim. But here, you don't have that issue. There's a lot of people swimming and it's shallow enough. I don't think you're gonna get sucked out. Ah, oh, another one. Oh. Psych. Puffer fish are pretty poisonous, right? I think they're poisonous. I don't know if they're poisonous when they're dead. There's like, we've seen like eight dead puffer fish. We walked for about not even five minutes, but it's time for a quick beer. And then we'll go the other way. Right on. Ah, the bed thing, yeah. So 150 baht for Leo beer, for the big one. Whoa. 150 baht, a little expensive for a big Leo, but you're paying a little bit more when you're at the beach, no matter what. Ah. Buddy, you gotta go to the deeper water, man. Oh, holy shit. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh oh. I had a feeling that was uh oh. Here comes hell. You seen that guy renting a sea dude like what? Two minutes ago? Yep. He was like down there over there renting a sea dude. And that was one of his questions. Am I going by myself? The guy's like, yeah, of course. Clearly has never done that before, right? No, he's just he didn't want to go over the waves. Okay. Round two. Let's go, let's go. Oh shit. Oh. 
Keep going straight, buddy. Jesus. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's going back. He's going back. Oh. 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 Dude. <laughs> this guy, he's gonna dude, what is this guy doing? <laughs> he's gonna hit sand again. Oh, he's on the sand. He's on the sand. So yeah, he's uh, he gave up. He just drove that thing right up on the sand and said, "Fuck it, that's enough for me." So yeah, we passed them. They were bargaining to try to get on the sea doo and it's him and his girlfriend and. The question he asked was, am I going by myself? As in like, are they gonna go out on them by themselves, the two of them? I think what he wanted was to go in the back and maybe his girlfriend go in the back. So his girlfriend's out there on the back of a sea doo with a Thai guy, having a great time. And that guy just packed his bat and ball and that's, that's enough sea doo for him. I think he's done. We stayed and had our beer. The beach was pretty good over there in front of the clubs. I don't know what's going on over here, but we're in front of like the the Bob Marley flag bars. So got yeah, the ganja, the marijuana. I guess they're not doing their housekeeping around here, but it's not very busy over here. Cool beach clubs, you know, the fancy bougie beach clubs probably clean their beaches in front of their in front of their beach club. It's pretty messy over here. Yeah, a few people over at this bar. A little busier over here. All these cool little beachfront restaurants. This is like a cool looking restaurant. Place was a little more groovy looking. It's a beach cleanup. Got the cleanup crew over here. Big hotel slash resort, Mr. Tom Yum. Again, not very busy. A couple people there. A volleyball net up here. Some sort of lake. On the drone, we actually seen quite a few of these lakes all within the Bang Tao area. Kind of at like the midway point on this beach. As we crossed into the halfway point, it's kind of, well, it's a lot cleaner. But we're in front of a big hotel resort. Yeah, much cleaner, wider, big wide beach. And then they got these kind of interesting pine evergreen trees. They don't see all the time in Thailand. You see them sometimes, not all the time. Yeah, it would have been better. Massive here, it's super wide. You got a cool little pond lake again. That is like a little restaurant on the middle of that lake, which is actually pretty neat. And yeah, I think if you're coming here, Type in Bang Tao on Google Maps. This is the point that it brings you to. I think this spot is much better than the place we parked, which is more south. This is a good entry point. Bang Tao, Google Maps will bring you right to this spot. Restaurant, a lot of people hanging out. realize how far this beach is, how big it is, you start walking on it. Dude, it's crazy. We've been walking for like half an hour and we barely made a dent in this beach. We're gonna park it at this place. I'm gonna throw my drone up in the sky. We're gonna take a look at Bank Tail Beach. Beautiful sunset tonight. 
Yeah, we're definitely parking it here for the rest of the night. We got some beer and we're way too tired to keep going that far. Underestimated the length of this beach. Go that way another day. Oh. Woo! Just got back to our bikes now. We were at the Club 22 beach bar and from there, which is just over about halfway down the beach, all the way back to our scooters, it was like 45 minutes walking. 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And we were walking pretty fast. And my recommendation, yeah, park in that central spot, type in Bank Tao on Google Maps, it'll kind of bring you there. Then you can walk up the beach, down the beach, and you'll have lots of options for food. South of the beach, the beach is gonna be a little more flat. That's where all those reggae bars are. And right now, late at night, they're all kind of open. There's not many people here. That's one thing I will say is this beach is big and it's pretty quiet right now. Overall, I think it's a really nice beach. I will come back here. The water, I'd give it like a six out of 10 if we're talking like that beautiful blue, it's okay. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked this video. A half an hour on the scooter to get back to the Tong. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you wanna see more of this, like it. If you didn't, comment in the video of what you guys wanna see. I'd love to hear it. See you guys in the next one, peace.